Hey, so I recently moved and that's why my audio is so messed up in this video. It's not unbearable, but I just wanted to apologize for that. Let's get to the video. Hey everybody, it's me, Vivi, and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time, thanks for coming back. I'm so glad to have you back and I'm glad to be back because I've been away. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> quick summary i'll have a video dedicated to where i've been and what i've been doing because i have some exciting life updates but for now this video is about spring anime that i've been watching because there are some that i didn't watch yet but this is spring anime that aren't trash these ones seem to be going pretty well I'll give you a overview of what the anime is about. I'll try no spoilers and also I will give a rating out of 10 for what I think about the anime so far because none of these anime, anime are completed. That's a warning. I don't usually watch anime day by day but for the channel, I started watching weekly anime, things that aren't finished airing. Let's get into it. These are animes that don't suck for spring 2021. If you see me looking here, it's because I have my anime list open. My screen name is down below. The anime that I actually was looking forward to this season, like I actually followed this one, Hige Hiro. After being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. And I read um, up to date all the manga chapters that were there. It was originally a light novel. I didn't have the time to write, read a night, light novel, so I just read the manga and I really enjoyed it. It was like an interesting concept. It's about this girl who runs away and we don't know why. And then this guy who recently got rejected by his higher up co-worker or senpai. They, he got drunk after being rejected as people do and he runs into this runaway and he takes her in in his drunken state and you would think this would go into a more red zone into a more a pedophilic zone well where he would be interested in a high schooler but it's not that way like he's different or <laughs> that's the that's the whole thing like he's different from all the other guys he doesn't try to take advantage of the main character and is a really interesting anime However, I think the anime has gone past where the manga is, so it is. it does feel rushed at times for me reading the manga, but it, it's a good anime. It's beautifully drawn. I like the art style, I like the music behind it, and it never took me out of the story. Um, and where I am in the anime right now, it's like really getting to a climax. I think this will be a one season anime but I, I i would like if it's the best for the anime that it goes past one season but we'll see it feels like it's rushing through it so um we're far along in the story i'd rate it an 8 out of 10. it's a good anime it could have been a lot better i feel if they would have fleshed out the story taken their time next on my list is to your eternity so to Your Eternity is an anime that popped up on my website, on this website, and I thought it was pretty cool, but I had never heard about it before, and it was pretty low on the uh, my anime list website for spring anime, so I'm not one to go for like the highest first, I go for the like whatever i think is interesting and i started watching it and i shed real tears for every episode except the last two episodes that were aired and let me tell you this is an emotional anime i went through so much in one episode the first episode it's about i don't know if it's a god or this being who made an orb and sent it to earth and it basically follows this orb's journey on earth and that is as much as I could say without spoiling the anime it's really good I love the art style it's uh, it has like some light-hearted moments some warm wholesome moments and then it has some really dramatic hard-hitting moments it has a lot of action in it it has a lot of drama and uh, it has a mysterious aspect to it and I really enjoyed it um, 
out of 10, I give it a nine. I only took off the one point because it made me cry, but that's not bad. I just, you know, there's always room for improvement and I'm gonna wait and see if it continues this high point that it's on right now up until the last episode of the season and I hope it gets more seasons. I'm thinking of reading the manga for it when this um, season is done just to see, you know, what's up. Next is Koikimo or long name. Give me a minute. Koiku Yubu ni wa kimochi warui. Warui. Um, okay, this anime, I liked it at first and it's a very interesting anime it's i don't know if i'd say new it does have all the cliches of slice of life like the fever episode every slice of life has that fever episode where it's just like oh no she's sick let me go visit her and have a moment that builds plot this one is a different type of slice of life it's about this teenage girl and um this adult man and in the first episode, I don't think this is a spoiler because it's the first few minutes of the first episode. In the first few minutes, this girl saves this guy's life and um, gives him breakfast or lunch or whatever. And later that day, this man finds out that this teenage girl that saved his life was the or is the friend of his little sister who is also in high school. So he um, tries to make advances at her flirtatiously talks to her and she just calls him creepy because that's true he's an adult man flirting with a teenage girl so she calls him creepy and he falls in love with her so it follows that it's very funny I enjoy it it's it has its light-hearted moments and all of the like dramatic moments that are like crucial to the story building and building suspense it feels not forced but it's not very harsh it's not like these characters think they're gonna die if something happens or doesn't happen but it's it's a great story it's just i can't get past the pedophilic aspect of this man falling in love with this girl and like basically pushing himself onto her which is it, it's funny at times how much he bothers her and how annoyed she is with it but then like you'll see as the story builds i get uncomfortable watch it let me know what you think or if you've been watching it let me know what you think i think it's kind of weird but it's funny so i keep watching it and i'd rate it a 7 out of 10 as an anime it's very good okay the next entry on this list is osamake rom-com where the childhood best friend won't lose this anime i had a lot of hopes for because you know the cliche where the protagonist always ends up with not the childhood best friend well i was so looking forward to this anime i was wondering like is it a troll does the childhood best friend actually win and there's a twist to it maybe i'll make a video specifically for this but it's living up to its name <laughs> I could say that much where I am in the anime at times it's kind of frustrating to watch like I can't watch a bunch of episodes of this anime all at one time I have to watch just once a week even if I'm kind of behind in the schedule and that's because sometimes it's just way too out there like and the characters are very loud and um, this is one of those animes that does follow some of the cliches except for the one where the, the childhood best friend won't lose, hopefully. Uh, but it was a good anime. I rated a 6 out of 10. The next entry on this list, I don't need to go to my anime list to translate. It's Shadow House. Shadow House is a spring anime that just blindsided everybody except me because I was watching it from the beginning like i was looking at this anime and saying this is new this is something i think i would like the art style looks cute and the story description before it started airing caught my attention because it's not it was kind of vague and it's not anything that we've well i've been seeing this season or i don't think i've ever watched an anime like this before it surprised me but in a good way from the first episode out the bat it has a story where 
you can't guess what this is about at least i couldn't let me know if you found an anime that's similar to this but i haven't been able to find one even though i really want to because i want to watch more like this it follows this shadow house setting where there are shadows that live and there are dolls living dolls that serve the shadows and are meant to be the faces and do everything for the shadows because the shadows are like noble people and it's adventure it has some action elements some um, mystery solving puzzle elements and the entire anime is trying to figure out what's the deal with the shadow house and why are these people noble what are they important for what's this soot thing going to come into play for this is tied for first place in my favorite animes of the spring season to your eternity shadow house and super cub are my top three for this spring season so far i'll save super cub for last because next we have i've been killing slime for 300 years and i maxed out my level yeah so i've been killing slime for 300 years and i maxed out my level is the next entry on this list sorry for the car passing but this anime is fun it's an isekai um so it's taken out of world you see the main protagonist she's she dies within the first second of the anime it's nothing tragic or anything you hear her backstory and basically it's exactly what it says she maxed out her level because she's been killing slimes for 300 years and it just follows her wacky adventures after these 300 years it's very funny light-hearted i haven't watched a good isekai in a while so this was very exciting to jump into i actually watched this after giguk um or gant from giguk put this in his video of upcoming spring anime i was watching it like on mal and i wasn't taking it on i was like nah i don't think i'd like this because recently isekais haven't been that much of my thing but after he recommended it i watched it and it's really good and i recommend it to everybody i give it a 7 out of 10 because it's a nice story it's very happy this time protagonist is female and it would just be a good watch and it's very entertaining the last entry on this list of animes that i've watched this spring season is super cub super cub is a kodakawa production anime and it's slice of life now you might have heard slice of life for a bunch of animes like kokoro connect or wonder egg priority however do they truly mean slice of life i implore you to check out the first episode of this anime and tell me that this is not the definition of slice of life if you look up slice of life in a dictionary there should be super cub in that definition <sighs> super cub is about this teenage girl as most animes are about um who is has nothing in life she goes to school she lives alone she goes to school she rides her bike to school does classes does okay comes back home on her bike on her bicycle like pedals and that's it she has nothing she prepares her little lunches from packets every day and you wonder okay what's the what's the point the point is this is a slice of life about her super cup so she ends up going on a bunch of adventures after she gets her super cup which is a motorcycle um she meets friends she gets jobs she goes through a bunch of things that wouldn't have happened unless she got the super cup however nothing is unrealistic everything that happens to her could happen to you in real life and that's i don't know how to describe why I love this anime so much but I love this anime so much because it just it's pure slice of life if you just want slice of life watch this I watch this to calm down after watching all the weekly anime after I watched to your eternity and I cry my eyes out after I watched um after being rejected and um, I shaved my beard and took in a high school runaway after I watched that and feel kind of like oh what or after um i watch any anime that makes me feel 
like negative emotions not for bad reasons but maybe it was a sad episode or a an angering episode i watched this anime to just reset my life and come back to reality and i'm going to make a dedicated video just for this later today so look out for that super cub i rate 9 out of 10 it's exactly what it says it is so that was this video for spring anime that aren't trash and worth watching that i've been watching I've heard other anime like Tokyo Revengers and um, 8686 are really good. I'm going to watch those, but I prefer to watch those types of animes that I didn't mention all at once, like binge watch them, especially because now I'm working, which isn't going to come up in the update video. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Any anime suggestions, manga suggestions, link it down below check out my anime list because maybe your suggestions are already there or I've watched them already and you want me to do a video on it that's all for me thanks guys bye like comment subscribe